All right, so last time we went through the totally hardcore um, Cinnabar Mansion and saw the totally hardcore room where they clone Mewtwo and also failed to clone Mewtwo four other times. Apparently, like there's there there are four dead failed Mewtwo clones, or else those are allusions to the little girl and the three starter Pokemon clones from the cut intro to the first Pokemon movie, maybe? But either way, it was pretty freaking cool. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, Cinnabar Mansion was a lot of fun. And we also got the secret key. And that means today... Today... We're heading into the Cinnabar Gym. The second to last gym in this game. Which means if we... are quick enough about it... We might be able to do two gyms today. Yo, champ in the making! This gym is... Uh, here we go, first question. Uh, wait, Mr. Blaine, it's not your turn yet. Oh, that's right. Look at the, look at the, the Pokemon statues. They've got... They've got little, little Blaine cosplays on. Here, the old man you just saw here was the gym leader Blaine. He's a fire-type Pokemon pro. Now you did well finding the secret key. You might, as well, might have guessed. You'll have to take on a quiz at this gym as well as battles, try to have a good time, whatever. Oh, this is neat looking. And it's got like folding chairs and a bunch of old people in the audience. Oh, this is great. Uh, what do you say? Ready to start? Absolutely. No, no need to be shy then. Step right up. And look at the background. It's his face. This is excellent. Ah, oh, I love this. Here we go. This is the Cinnabar Island Gym Pokemon Quiz. Challengers get asked five questions that they have to answer. Get one right, and you get a Blaine doll. Okay. Get a question wrong, you'll have to battle one of my students here. But if you manage to beat them, then don't worry, you still get a Blaine doll. Think you can collect five Blaine dolls? Sure, don't know why I need Blaine dolls, and it can't just be five correct answers, but sure. First question, quiz time. <sighs> Magmar? Yep. Congratulations, you want a Blaine doll. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the second question. Quiz time! How many gym badges certified by the Pokemon League are there? I mean, way more than that, but sure. Absolutely correct! Congrats! I guess he just means the, the Kanto League, right? And number two. Um, hold on, Mr. Blaine, this is the third question. The third question. Quiz time! A Steel-type move used by a Fire-type Pokemon will be... Or used on a fire type Pokemon will be not very effective, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is it gonna pop up in front of me this time? Okay, no, the one the last one's gonna be the one that pops up in front of me then. Three Blaine dolls. On to the fourth question. Quiz time. True or false? <laughs> false. <laughs> I could have said what's that, which I assume would have been also correct, because what the heck is that? I mean, that's straight out of the, the first-gen games, though, right? Shame the Challenger's collected four Blaine Dolls. It's time for the last question. Give it your all. Final question. Challenger he Hero, tell me, who are you about to battle? Um... I'm... Pretty sure all of these are correct. Um, a Fire-type Pokemon Pro. Yep. And... Boom. <laughs> they're like they're like posing too. I think it's just very cute. This is very well done. I enjoyed that a lot. Our challenger, you have obtained five Blaine dolls, which means it's time for our battle. Uh, I'm Blaine, the red hot gym leader here. My fiery Pokemon are all tough and, and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! Hope you brought some burn heals. Hope you don't use random super potions at the start of battles like you did back in Gen 1. I don't actually remember how the AI worked for him in Yellow Version. I just I've seen a lot of challenge videos where the where they, they manage to win because he does that. <laughs> Ow. I bonked my face. <sighs> What's your level? What's your power level? Um Drill Run? Because literally, there's literally no reason to do anything else. Good job, Pins. Pins dodged it because she loves me so much. And it's down. 
Uh, Pins and I are gonna sweep your whole gym, old man. I hope you don't mind. Boom. Rapidash is gonna rapidly get dashed over by my Nido Queen. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, that's 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 some damage. That's some damage. Yikeruni Dooney. Finished it off though. And that's probably the move I would have used in that specific scenario, right? Whew. Leveled up. Good, that'll get me some HP and some stats to survive whatever his next attack is. Um, Arcanine, okay, that's his ace. Fantastic. I do like the Ez Magmar in this game, though. Which is an anime reference, obviously. Can I outspeed the Arcanine? Probably not. Nope, alright, that's gonna definitely knock me out then. Cool. Well, Pins, you did good. For uh, as long as you lasted. Hmm. Took damage, so. Maybe a dig from Blaze will be enough to knock it out. I doubt it, because it's still got a lot of health left. But, um, I, I want to try. I'm faster. Bla well, Blaze is faster. Here is probably not faster, right? It's got Outrage. Why does everything in this game have Outrage? Get it. Not quite. Shoot. That was a crit, too. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> Wing attack, let's go. Finish it off. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, nine tails. I'll try, I'll try nine tails. I should outspeed a nine tails if I outsped an Arcanine. So I'll at least get a dig off, right? Go, go, Blaze. And Come back up, please. Good damage. Fire blast, okay. Whew. I win then. Let's um play it safe and dig again, right? Two of my guys against all four of his. Sabrina's still definitely the toughest gym leader in this game. Alright. And it's down. Boom, baby. That was fun though. That just this this whole gym experience was a lot of fun. I burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. Then you didn't burn down. Because when you when something burns down, it leaves ashes behind. Come on, man. You're you're a quiz master and you don't know that. You earned the volcano badge. Yeah. Pikachu, high five. And um, cool. Fire blast. Never gonna use that. I don't like those. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Fire Blast is an attack to be shown the utmost respect. Don't waste it on water type Pokemon, which is a reference to the fact that, like, Gyarados can learn it, right? Alright, let's get out of here. Go heal up Pins. And Blaze, too, I guess. Oh, hey, Trace! Yes, this is where you were. I thought you might have made your way to Cinnabar Island by now. Did you beat Blaine? Really? Congratulations! Uh, you need to have eight gym badges to get into the Pokemon League, right? And I've got seven already, which means that the only one left is... Yeah, it must be the gym in Viridian City, right? It was closed up last time I checked, though. Have you been to Viridian City gym yet, hero? You haven't, right? I guess I'll try stopping by Viridian City one more time. Alright, bye! Cool, um... Go heal up, like I said. Then, um... Just fly straight to Viridian, I guess? I'm, I'm, I'm half wondering if this game would have added more steps since this is so straightforward. But I don't know. I guess we'll see, right? Heal me. And I'm healed. Good. Give me my stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. Stop wishing that I'll be injured, that my Pokemon will be injured again. <clears throat> Alright. No, I'm, I'm fine out here where there is literally nothing threatening me. Um... Yeah, hi Pikachu. Uh, Skydash... to... Viridian City. 
On the road to the Radiant City. I wonder what I'll call this episode. Double Jim Extravaganza. Double Jim Stravaganza. There you go, that's better. <clears throat> Come on, pins. Oh, hey. Is there more story here? Okay. Huh, where's the door locked? Open sesame! Uh, yeah, I guess that isn't gonna work. Hey, Trace, done embarrassing yourself? Man. Oh, hey, hero. She say something if you're standing there. No, it's way funnier if I don't. I mean, I don't mean, yeah, that's why it's funny. No, well, never mind that. So many gym badges you got these days. S seven? Then it looks like we're even. And all that's left now is ready to see Jim. Same as you, right? This place is never open. I guess we've got to tell someone we haven't been able to get into the gym, but who should we talk to? Professor Oak, probably. Honestly, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Let's go see if you know the other answers probably would have been funnier, but Hero's, you know, pretty smart. Hi, right, his grandson's here. Oh, if it isn't Hero and Trace. You two are both looking a lot more grown up than the last time I saw you. And you have impeccable timing, as usual. Let me introduce you. This is my grandson. Uh, what was your name now? Hey, Gramps, no one ever laughs at that joke. <laughs> He's giving a play. Ah, that's funny. That, that's a reference to the fact that he doesn't know his own grandson's name at the beginning of the original games, right? And besides, we've met already. My own grandson, you're no fun. Yeah, yeah, sure, Gramps. More important than that, though. Hero Trace, you two did awesome. Huh? And with Team Rocket, I never thought their boss could actually be holed up there in Silphco. And the two of you managed to take him down. It was me, mostly. Yeah, thanks. See, Trace knows what he's talking about. No, I did was help out a bit. It's true. All he did was help out a bit. Say so what? You and your Pokemon did your best too, right, Trace? So I've got a little something for you too. As a reward for your hard work. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, isn't that a keystone? A stone that can trigger an evolution that transcends all other evolutions? Mega evolution? Mega evolution? What's that? If you have both a keystone and the right mega stone, you can make a Pokemon Mega evolve in battle just one time per battle, though. Your Pokemon will get all powered up to battle hard for you. A mega evolution is proof of the strong bond between a Pokemon and his trainer. Ahem. A brief poem, if I may. When two stones are held, when two star when two hearts become one, we mega evolve. That was terrible, man. <sighs> you two you should be able to use these well. These are mega stones. Ooh hoo hoo! Ooh hoo 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 hoo! Very nice. I hope you gave Trace some that he can use too, because he doesn't have any of those guys. Uh, you're gonna take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Give these a try when you do. Yeah, okay, this doesn't solve my problem though. You two are so close to the Pokemon League now. Just one last push. Is, the, is that the story thing that I had to do to trigger it then? I can't hand these to my Pokemon though, so. Can they just use them now? Can they just like can they can those three Pokemon just Mega Evolve now? This is weird. No, if it isn't Pikachu. You wouldn't know what I'm doing. I'm picking flowers. I'm going to make a bouquet for someone very important. Is it me? I'm very important. But it's a secret. You won't tell anyone, right, Hero? Oh, that's right. Um. The Radiant City Gym Leader came back to the gym at last. That's what people are saying. You should head off to Radiant City. Okay. What you doing, Pikachu? Did, did Pikachu want to do something over here? Did you want to do something, Pins? Look how happy she is. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, well, let's let's fly to Radiant City then. <sighs> <clears throat> For the second time today, on the road to Viridian City, and I'm really excited about Mega Evolution. It has to just work, right? Because I, I can't equip my Pokemon with items. And it's open. Whew. Hello. Yo, champ in the making. You and I don't know who the Viridian Gym... Uh, Viridian City Gym Leader is. One thing is certain, you're qualified to challenge the Gym Leader because you have seven badges. Okay. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That the prerequisite for for 
beating the gym leader here would be the other badges. Um, there's an item there. I don't um, ca care about it, though. So... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Hmm, I'm going to have to battle at least a couple of people here. Ugh, alright, fine. Blast through this really fast. Oh, this is an interesting matchup for pins. Do I have any revives? I hope I do. I really don't want to have to leave and come back. Didn't knock it out. Hmm. That's great. She hung on, hung on though. Pins, you're a real champ. Uh, finish this, please. Good thing that she's faster. You might want to use some of those rare candies now. But who, should I just use them all in one person, or what? I don't know, it's fine. <sighs> heal up real fast, assuming I have stuff to heal. Oh, yeah, I have revives, okay. And I have several potions. I, sh I, I should be fine, then. And one, and two, and three. Boom. Okay. God dang it. That sucks. That's my move, jerk. Yeah, still, this one wasn't no thing. Get it. Yeah, alright. More tamers, though, which is still interesting. Yeah, whatever. Um, I don't, I don't know if this is the. God dang it! If this is the, I like how the seats are empty in this one too. It's very cool, very thematically appropriate. I don't remember if this is the layout from the Gen One games or not. It feels like it's not though, which is interesting. Only one person for this, or one Pokemon for this person. <clears throat> I might have to go over on time a little bit. But I wanna, I wanna get this gym done today. I think it'd be cool to to finish off two gyms today, right? If this doesn't knock it out, and it didn't. I'm gonna get knocked out, which sucks. Yeah, that's a shame. The game seems to know that like once you get to this point, you're not gonna level up much in between these various battles. Because um, the levels have been been pretty consistent for for a while now, right? So dig. Oh, there was the thing. I could have mega evolved right there. <laughs> okay. Cool. I shall keep that in mind. I like the battle background here too. You can even see the slidey panels and everything. Okay. That's a really stupid move to use there, but sure. Thanks. Thanks for making it easier for me. Just finish it. Just finish it off. That was sad. You're sad. I mean, I guess maybe your only offensive moves are superpower and earthquake? But still, that's sad. And yeah, let's go revive pins, I guess. Yep, bye. Mm, bag. Medicine, revive, pins, and um, I have a max revive too. Do that. And do I have like a like a regular ether? Yeah. Let's use that on drill run just because it's getting kind of low. And then save my game because I just did a bunch of stuff. Not communicate, no, no. Nope. No way to communicate with anyway. Because <laughs> none of my friends bought this game. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's cheap, game. That's very cheap. Screw you. Guess I'll go ahead and get the item here, but while well, I'm here, I right? revive, that's useful. Alright, let's get somewhere then. Where am I going then? 
Um, these blue ones, I guess, right? <sighs> Can't avoid both of these guys, unfortunately. Whatever. Get it. Boom. So a good strategy in here is starting out with pins, since poison types take extra damage from ground type moves, and then switching to a flying type, because all of these trainers in here are apparently stupid. Okay. Whew, there he is. Well, crap. It's that guy. Um. Hmm. Let's, um, not lead with pins, then. Let's, let's lead with blaze, I guess, maybe? Then we can bring in pins against other poison types if we feel like we need to. Hey, Giovanni. Hey, Giovanni, dear god, I'm right next to the guy, just let me talk to him. Like how he's got berries over there instead of like regular fruit because it's the Pokemon universe. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. Not gonna happen. But you have found me again, so be it. This time I'm not holding back. You were holding back before when you were trying to take over the world? Where, where's the logic in that? Once more then. You shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Eh, no. No. No, not even just in the continuity of this one game. There's several trainers stronger than you. I'm not even talking about the player character. <laughs> you just suck, man. <sighs> Don't think I should use my Mega Evolution yet. Save it for later. That's gonna hurt. Get it. Squishy Doug Trio goes sperm. The, the, the goes burn is what I was trying to say. Alright. Finish it. Boom. It does limit his attack choices having a flying type out here, though. Tree frog leveled. That's good. Uh, ride on. Okay. Sure. Let's um go into tree frog, actually. Not great, because earthquakes can do extra damage to me. But, um. I, I should be okay, right? Sleep powder. Great. Good job. Making me look real good, Tree Frog. <sighs> really want to try to do this right. Good. Now that you're asleep, let's um, let's Mega Drain. Now, see, I, I think it's cool that there's Mega. Po uh, just one shot it. Okay, I think it's cool that there's Mega Pokemon in this game. This sets it in one of the variants of the Mega Evolution universe, right? Which is which is neat from a lore perspective. But because there's no abilities in this game, like half of what's cool about a Mega Evolved Pokemon is the is its abilities. And since there's no abilities in this game, there's no um there there's no like like creating sun with my uh, Mega Charizard Y, for example. Or getting thick fat on, on tree frog. That, that's that's what Venusaur's thing is, right? Is tree is, is thick fat? I mean, that sounds right, right? Like, it just... I don't know, it seems to defeat part of the purpose, right? This is, um... Gonna take some time. Let's Leech Seed. Get some residual damage on it, right? Okay. Uh, good thing I dodged that. Jeez. Um... Sleep powder again, I guess. Shoot. Okay, okay. Keep dodging there, tree frog. You got this. You got this, man. I believe in you. 
Good, okay, cool. And, um... Leech Seed will keep going after the sleep animation is done, I guess. Because we need all these long animations for some reason. <sighs> keep going. Gonna do neutral damage, but still. And that's the Nido King. About done. Yikes. Alright, cool. Well, I'll get some of that back. <laughs> Very little, but still. And, um, probably not gonna keep Tree Frog out, frankly, because, um, Sleep Powder is not super accurate, and, um, I've already taken a decent amount of damage, so, Nido Queen. No Persian this time, which I'm thankful for. That Persian messes me up. Let's bring out Sheldon. And, um, this is not his, his ace. His ace is probably technically Rhydon. Um, it's, it's gonna be either Rhydon or Nido King. But Hero definitely knows the power of a well-trained Nido Queen. So, I think it's time that we tried out Mega Evolution. Sheldon. Mega Evolve. Very nice. And use Scald. Yeah, didn't quite one-shot it, but still, that's some damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's not. Oh, this this battle's over. <laughs> um, don't want to dig. That'd be a bad idea. Finish it. There we go. Giovanni falls again. To me, a literal child. Sheldon leveled from that, which is perfect. Very nice. Very good battle overall. That was truly an intense fight. I'm panting, even though I did literally nothing except tell my Pokemon what to do. Yeah, give me, give me your money. Yet again, I am defeated. Yep. Die mad about it. As proof of your victory, here is your Earth Badge. Yeah, Pikachu. High five. Don't look so smug, asshole. An Earth Badge makes all Pokemon obey you. <laughs> then why weren't you better at stealing them, asshole? Regardless of how... Yeah, I know, thanks. It is proof of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. And this TM, a gift for a trainer who dares take on the challenge of the Pokemon League. He at least respects me, right? He's still a dick, and I hate him, but he respects me. And I guess I kind of have respect for him, too. Uh, TM whatever is Earthquake. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor to deal damage to opponents. Yeah, I know. You used it against me several times. I made it a very long time ago, back when I ran this gym, far too long ago. I can't face my followers after being defeated like this for, like, the, the third or fourth time or whatever. Team Rocket is... As of today, Team Rocket is finished. Yeah, die mad about it. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to Pokemon training again. Alright, bye. Literally couldn't care less. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Nah, screw off. Bye. Hope you fall off a cliff or something. I literally couldn't care less about you. Straight up. Let's get out of here. I <sighs> think this makes me dizzy. I bet it probably does, right? That was fun. That's, um... All eight gems. Now let's, um... Oh, god damn it. Cutscene. Congrats, kid. Boy, though, what a shock. I never thought a criminal would use a Pokemon gym as their hideout. Now, influential people never turn out to be criminals. Mm, that's it. I've decided. I'll look after the Viridian gym from now on. Okay. Cool. So we, all, we even get an origin story for how he becomes the gym leader. I don't really like to get tied down, so I've always said no when they asked about it, but I'm finally ready. I'll be the gym leader from now on. <laughs> I want to battle you. Huh? I mean, sure, but I think you've got bigger challenges to face right now. So then, Hero, time for you to take on the Pokemon League. Just keep going along Route 22 to the west of here, and you won't miss it. You'll eat four tough opponents, but don't you dare lose. I won't. And, um, probably not going to battle him in this Let's Play, because canonically, Hero will battle him later during his, his Johto journey. 
he won't need to battle the others, but he will come back and battle Blue one way or the other, if I don't get around to it. But um, one way or another, Alt Hero will battle Blue also. Maybe I'll include that in this Let's Play as a bonus or something. But it will happen one way or the other. And that's it. That's all eight gems. <laughs> Let's um, go in here real quick to the TM case. Because Earthquake is amazing. And I want to give it to anyone who can learn it. Except for like... Like, like Tree Frog, because I, I like Tree Frog's moveset. So let's get rid of Dig, which is still my f first move on on Blaze for some reason, even though it's a, a ground type move. <laughs> and um, then let's let's use it on Pins to get rid of that um, Drill Run that we literally just gave her because it's objectively better. And. Uh, Good, good. Um, that's not what I meant to do. And then let's give it to Sheldon instead of his dig also, I guess. Because why the heck not, right? Actually, actually. Actually. Let me, let me, try, let me think about something for a second. Ice Beam. I should probably give Ice Beam to Sheldon, shouldn't I? Right? His special attack's a little higher. Like, I don't mind him having Dig. But, like... I never use Bite. Let's give it to him instead of Bite. Right? And then give him Earthquake instead of Dig. I think that works, right? And, um... Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's good, right? So I want, I want an ice move on at least one of my guys. And I can give it uh, pins, too, if I absolutely need to. Um, I'm going to probably look up in between this recording session and the next, too. Um, where to get a get any physical poison-type move? So I'd really like to give pins a, a better poison-type move that actually deals damage. That's it. That's it for this episode. Hope you guys had fun, because I certainly did. That was, I think, pretty gosh darn excellent.